That ranting Asian is back again, once again. Alright, 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 I'm back. I'm back. Hi, my name is Frederick, currently has four video projects due, and he's still not gonna do them, Chen. And it has been so long, so long, since I've done an actual rant video. So, as a blessing for your feed, if the video even pops up on it because YouTube likes to fuck us over. I'm gonna give you a little rant today about a very popular event that goes around, I'm not gonna say worldwide, I'm gonna say just in the US. A phenomenon called prom, pram. My one time to shine for some people. Now I went to prom last week, so that is why I did not upload, and I got some shit to say. So let's get started. Number one is, why are all of you orange? I just wanna know why it's a thing for so many girls Yes, I'm calling you out. 75% of my audience right now. Why is it you get a spray tan on that specific day? Like some of my friends joke about how everyone likes to be darker, but you know, being pale is like the beauty standard in America because we're dumb. And I'm very aware that you are jealous of this luxurious golden butter face. But do you really have to get an orange spray tan? Like, let me give you a little play out of how my week went the day before prom. Monday, everyone's fine, everyone's normal. Tuesday, everyone's fine, everyone's normal. Wednesday, two days before prom, baby boom. Suddenly, everyone looks related to Donald Trump. And the thing is, this happens every year and I'm banging my tan on the wood right now because you don't get it. No one learns from this. In order to get a spray tan, you have to get the minimal, like such a small amount so that it doesn't turn up citrus. Or you just go to an actual good spray tan and not have a friend recommend you because pff, your friends are stupid, guys. And then when you all come back and like you're in your little girl group, you're like, oh my God, you look so good in that in that tan. And then I see people who are gingers and they get a spray tan too and suddenly their hair is like fused with their head. Like full on same color. And I don't get it because unless you're wearing a white dress, there's no reason for it. Do you know how amazing pale people look in dark dresses? Do you know how like regal that looks? No, no, apparently not because you're still a little orange. But like at the end of the day, I mean, you do you boo boo, but it ain't a good look. And stop lying to your friends, telling them that it's a good tan. It is not a good tan, and you know it. You know it, so you tell your friend that, so they don't do the same mistake next year. Do it. I feel like some of my friends are watching, they're like, so were you lying to me or not? Honey, if I wanted to break your feelings, I would've broke them days before. Second issue I have a prom, the photos. With your bae, your boo, whatever you call it in the caption. This photo. Let me tell you what you look like when you do this photo. That is what you look like. When I scroll through my feed and I see 20 pictures of the same, same setup, do you know what that says to me? Creativity is dead. Individuality, dead. Originality, gone. On a world tour. It's not like, ugh. Why? Like if you spend $500 on the dress, but then you're taking a picture of just your eyes, I wanna know what's more important to you at this point. And sure, you can do both, but there is no reason I have to see every single girl doing that goddamn photo. I had to go off Instagram because I got sick and tired of seeing the same orange girl in the same flowers. Next up, promposals. Excuse me, but let's be relatable and let's all draw a little promposal sign that says, will you go to prom with me in a weird corny joke that's so funny apparently for people. I don't know if this is like a nationwide thing, but here in Morristown, we not only have a Facebook page for dresses, no, we have a Facebook page for promposals. You have a sign with a pun? Oh, promposal page. You got a sign from a Pinterest page? Promposal page. Every year, there's like this virus that goes around the whole school. And you guys feel the need to do a big promposal because you want it to go all over the page, even though no one has Facebook anymore. And for what? Please tell me why is it so important for us to have to put a pun instead of the words, will you go to prom with me on the sign? Also, why, why does it have to be a sign? Like, just text it. Or have a mutual agreement, like, hey, you going to prom? Yeah, I'm going to prom. You want to go with me? Yeah. And, and, if your prom proposal is bigger than, like, typical wedding proposals, how far are you going to go when you get married? For some reason, it's like a competition for who gets the coolest type of prom proposal here. Because, like, that matters in high school, apparently. 
Yep. Also, stop asking me if I have a problem date. It is not that important in life. It's like you get these judgy girls who are like, you don't have a prom date? Yeah, because I'm gonna have a date, it's probably gonna be a man, and I can always go with a friend. Always. And even if you wanna go with a friend, and they happen to be your same gender, even though you're not gay, you have to sign saying you're gay. Like, the percentage of lesbians as students suddenly increased by 10% because girls wanna go with their girl f space friends. But the school's like, oh my god, same gender? Gotta be gay. Gotta be gay. Sorry, I had to cool off for a second. That ranting Asian is back again, once again. Oh, and can I have better food, please? We were promised like a mac and cheese bar, and let me tell you how that mac and cheese tasted. Imagine tasting pasta and unsalted butter together. That was the mac and cheese I prom. One more thing, limousines. Um, In my group, it was like $108 per person. No, ma'am. No, no, that's, that's my paycheck once a week. Do you know what I can get for $108? If I do my calculations correct, I can get more than a month's worth of kombucha, even if I drink one every single day. So, 36 kombuchas or one limousine ride that... What's more important to you? You can buy a ring light for $108. I can get my hair dyed silver for $108. But no, 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 no. Apparently, everyone has to be in a limousine for prom. Mind you, Junior prom. If this is what happens in junior prom, imagine how far people go to senior prom. Also, to like, the girls out there. Why did you buy a $1,000 dress, even though it didn't look that good? Like, I could get that at a Macy's for probably half the amount. I could make that because those were fake crystals. You, you spent more than $1,000. For one night? And then you get people who say like, oh, this is my night. No, no, it's no one's night because everyone is so self-centered and thinks about themselves at prom and how they're the important ones there. And then at the end, no one gets the attention because they're focused on themselves. Oh, and then prom weekend. Oh my God, let me tell you about prom weekend. Guys, this is the day we're gonna get drunk and high and do stupid stuff because guess what? Party! Yeah, no, Um, I went to the beach and took photos instead. Now am I saying I wouldn't get drunk? Well, that's up to you to think that. But then people got the nerve to post on their Instagram, this was my prom weekend. And then their butt's like sticking out and they're in a swimsuit and then they're holding like their tall ass boyfriend because they have to date a taller person for some reason. But yeah, something along those lines. I mean, I'm sorry. I, If you're watching and you like know who you are, I don't care. This is a rant. I still love you on the inside if you're my friend. And the last thing that I want to hear is a fake compliment. You know those people who like aren't your friends at all and they bully you until the night of prom and they're like, you look so good in your dress slash tuxedo. Like I can smell the lie coming out of your breath. You're not convincing anyone. And it's not that I hate prom. I love seeing my friends just dressed up in their true form. Like I'm happy for all my friends and I'm glad that I got out of my shell of not wanting to dance and make a fool of myself. Not that I don't already make a fool of myself on YouTube. And I gotta dress up in a red tuxedo that I rented because guess what? Do not buy something that you're gonna wear once for the rest of your life. Unless you're that sentimental person who wants to look at it. What is the need to buy the whole dress then? You know how much my tuxedo was? $120. Alright. End rant. If you guys enjoyed, give us a like. Leave a comment down below about what you want me to rant about next or like a stupid video idea so I can, you know, act like an idiot. And subscribe because I post videos whenever the fuck I want. All right, I love you guys and everything is less than three. And guess what, bitch? If you buy fake flowers, no one will notice because the lights at prom are already dark enough.